Hello everyone, it's the William Red Fox and welcome to my world. So today we're actually going to be starting a hardcore series. Now you're going to be able to get my reaction here in just a moment, so I think we're going to do that first before I go into the details. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. I think it was quite obvious that I wasn't actually expecting to be in a tiger biome. Now, I have worked with Sprucewood before, but I've not really built in a tiger biome, so I'm not too familiar on what designs will actually work for this area, other than a viking feel. Now, I haven't really done that much design work with tiger biomes, mainly plain biomes and deserts, so this is going to be interesting. But first off, just to let you guys know, if you ever see that clock with the orange plus in the top left hand corner, that's actually future me. Now why I mean by that is that I'm actually recording this part after I've actually finished the recording for the video. So this is kind of like an insight from what I'm actually thinking as I'm editing, as well as adding a few bit more details that I haven't actually explained in the video. For example, data packs. I've actually added data packs into this world just as a quality of life thing. That way I can actually improve and make things a little bit faster for myself. One of those things is the fact that I've actually added in four data packs for that. Now the four data packs I've added for that are simply one data pack will stop Enderman from actually picking up blocks, one will stop creepers from destroying blocks, one will actually make the leaves decay faster once the tree has been cut down, and the last one will give all the recipes that are needed for Minecraft. That way I don't have to stop and look at a wiki to find out how to build something. Now the last data pack is a day counter. That is there so you can see how many days progress as the video goes on. Now I'm not the fastest YouTuber who can play Minecraft, but you will actually be able to see just how long it takes to actually get things done. Now in the first series I know I had a tunnel that I would mine two chests worth of material each time, but if I was to do that with the time constraints I have currently, I would never get a video done. But for now, why don't we get into the video? Okay, first we need to get ourselves to higher ground. Okay, so it looks like I'm just in a tiger biome, which is going to pretty much just take up most of this. Oh, it's actually a clearing over here, let's go this way. Well this is interesting. Oh, I'm much higher up than I thought I was. Oh, it's caves all throughout this, this is going to be something I gotta look out for. But yeah, I'm definitely higher up than I thought it was. Looks like there's a different type of forest over there. That's pretty cool. So we must be on the border of a tiger at a forest then. It's massive. But first, let's just get these sheep. Let's uh, make a bed. Okay, so all we need now is some wood. Hopefully, once all this is cut down, then that data pack that I put in place should make the leaves disappear quite quickly. There we go. So, I'm not seeing anything of real use yet, so it might be worth just having our place start out here. Don't get me wrong, it's great to have that forest over there so we can use all the different wood types that we typically would use in a build. I'm not too sure if this is the best place to actually build on. That does look like a village over there, and it looks like a plains village. That's pretty cool, it starts down there and actually works its way all the way up. So that might be worth going to have a look. But then again, I think I enjoy the idea of actually building a house up here. It looks like this is completely clear, so if I leveled this out a little bit, covered up some of the holes, I could put a village up here myself, rather than relying on that one over there. And it looks like it's just a tiger biome all the way as far as the eye can see that direction. Oh, there's some sugarcane down there, that's good. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's much other than a tiger biome. We'll have to see. Right now, let's just uh, get the basics done. And just to start off, as always, get a crafting table, work towards some stone as well as some other materials. While we're at it, we may as well... There we go. Oh, there's a creeper in there. Tim, just right about there. There we go, Stone Age achievement. Let's leave him alone for a second. Let's go get a sword. He's still there? Oh, it's not. In that case, I think I should still continue getting some material and then uh, we could start working on getting a little bit further into this. Oh, never mind, he's back. Hey, there we go. Am I right? We probably should sleep before going any further. And there we are, sweet dreams. And on our first day. So I think that day count is going to be pretty interesting. It'll help me keep track of everything, and it'll give you guys an idea on how long things take. Did I ever plant those? I did not. Let's go put those saplings down. They're no good in my inventory. Oh, that's another cave to look into. Okay, so let's take some of this cobblestone first. Let's make a furnace, take some of the 
extra wood, turn that into a chest. This can be the junk chest. So let's leave at least 64 cobblestone in there just so that we have it in the future. And the gunpowder, we can keep that for the future as well. Okay, let's leave that to go. And uh, yeah, let's get back to mining. There we are. Now let's move over to the stone one and get these materials. Okay, let's uh, make some torches. There we are. Now with these shaders, it actually lights things up with torches. So that should be a little bit easier for everyone to see. And there we go, some iron. Okay, so that's everything in this cave. Let's move over to the next one. But first, I think I'm going to grab that food. Oh, let a tree screw. That's pretty good. I'm definitely going to love the faster leaves breaking. It just makes things so much easier to clean up. Okay, seems like that ends here. That sunset's pretty cool. Oh, some lava down here as well. That's good. There's spruce leaves. That's oak. But this is tiger. Is this an azalea tree? Or is it like a lone oak wood tree? So I can't see any flowers on it. It must be a lone oak tree. Well, it will save me going all the way over there to get saplings, I guess. I still have to go over there to get birch wood, but I've got to be careful because these leaves go quickly. I might just end up knocking the leaves from under me. I need to be careful with that beehive. I think as long as I don't touch the hive, I should be fine. Well, while I'm down here, I may as well look around and see if I can get a birchwood tree as well. Well, I can just head over to the forest and get that, so let's go that way now. Collecting some gravel would be nice as well, since we can use this to actually make dirt. It'll help out a lot with actually leveling up the f land up there. Plus the flint is kind of needed to light a pole too. But yeah, let's get over to the forest now and actually get those saplings and head back. Oh, well... I will have just massacred all them sheep. I'll, uh, take all this. Um, I'll have to remember to get that on the way back, because we're right here now. Seems if I don't break all the trees around it, the wood is actually keeping the leaves in place. That's a worry, though. We can just clear this out. Hey, there we go. We got at least one. And there we go. I think that'll be enough. I think we should start heading back now. And I do need to go pick up that sugar cane, too. First, let's just... So I've just had a fall. What if this hill that I'm climbing now isn't the hill that I started on? That would look pretty stupid. Oh wait, never mind, it is. Okay, so we've got some trees now. I think it might be worth just clearing out this area just to see what we're working with. And while we're at it, I've just made a valuables chest. So we just got the air necessities that we do actually need on a day to day. And uh, yeah, we can easily grab everything else. Now we can move that gunpowder out. I think I'm going to keep that there, just as like a remembrance of the first mob we killed in this world. I think that'd be a nice little thing to do. So yeah, let's clear out all of the grass and see what we're working with. So we're about out of the way, we have actually gained quite a bit of material there. We gained a few more saplings and quite a few seeds, so that's actually pretty good. Now I think we're going to need to make a new chest for all the junk, but for now I think going mining would be good. But first, let's clear the inventory. While we're at it, we're going to plant some trees as well so these can grow while we're gone. Oh, I just walked right past the mine. Whoa, okay. So this actually goes quite far down. So you guys might not be able to see it because of how dark it is, but you will see those lighting glitches just down the bottom. And that's just because the actual shaders I use, they can't actually adjust for caves straight away. So it might just take a moment. Hopefully the light from this torch should be enough just to keep things bright. Okay, here is zombie. I think that was just below me a second ago. Oh, and there's no one there. Oh, hello. That made me jump, that. Oof, got my heart racing, that. Okay, so that's the end of this cave. Now, I'm going to leave all the copper, just simply because I don't think it's going to be any use. I'm going to take some of these with me, because then at least I can get, like, infant lava and turn uh, mud into clay. That might become useful in the future. Oh, so that's another way out. That's pretty cool. Oh, some emerald there. I don't think I can mine emerald with this pick. Oh, no, looks like I can. And I can't. It's good to see that works. Uh, yeah, so they can explode. I still think they can hurt me, but they just can't grief anything. To be honest, I don't want to test to see if that works. I know this is cheap, but hey, it works. Oh, 
Actually, something up here. Oh, nothing much. But at least there's some granite up here, so if I ever need that, there's there. Looks like the only direction I can go now is down in there, so uh, yeah, let's get going. So now I'm just trying to make sure nothing can spawn in here as well. So hopefully that way I'm a little bit safer when going through here. Oh, there's another entrance on the other side. That might be interesting to go take a look at. Okay, I heard a zombie drop, but I didn't see where. I wonder what he keeps dropping on. It must be some sort of ledge. Okay, now I feel like I need to work out how I'm going to get further into this cave. My path is somewhere up that way, so let's head back that side. Okay, oh, whoa, okay, that goes quite far down. Great, so I think getting on that other side was actually a better idea. I think in future I'm just going to use that water to come up and down here, but for now I think having a safer route is best. I also think maybe having like little platforms here as well, just so I can see what things are going on. That might be interesting as well. By the looks of it, there's not much in the walls, but we might get stuff the further we go down. So as I was saying before, it doesn't look like there's much but going down, so that's interesting. But it looks like there's a whole other section that way. So I think it might be worth just filling in this little blank spot here and uh, yeah, calling this like a little land base. Now back this way. Oh. That actually looks like it might open up. Um, doesn't look like there's much here, but let's give it a look around. It does look like we're coming towards the bottom now, so that's pretty good. But we'll uh, work our way around and then work our way down. Okay, we're out of picks. But I can make more. So let's head back up here towards the safety point. Okay, looks like we're on the far side now. Doesn't look like there's anything above us as well, so it looks like it's probably best we start going down. It looks like we're starting to get to the deep slate layer now, so that should be interesting. Oh, there's a little cave here. Ah, oh, nothing of use, but let's line it up just in case. There we go, so we've uh, lit that up successfully, so that's good. Oh, and some more iron. Oh, that's where the iron went. Oh, kind of like a little cave back here. And we're out of torches, so let's make some more. Oh, well, that's quite nice. We'll come back to that in a second. Hmm, we'll go this way first. Hmm. So we've got multiple ways to go. Well, let's uh, collect some of the material and get moving that way. Um, I think I'm going to go this way. Now I kind of do want a bit of that gold, but to do that, I'm going to have to make a furnace down here. Oh, well, that's a weird spawn. Oh, wow, that's a whole thing down there. Okay, so let's, uh, yeah, let's start working on a furnace. I kind of want that gold so I can try and make a clock while I'm down here. Let's see if I can find that gold again. Um, oh, there it is. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Did not see him until the last minute. That tells me this needs to be brightened up a bit. Oh, the zombie villager. That scared the crap out of me. I was wondering what that noise was. Oh, okay. So this is an upwards path. Oh, did not notice this was it. So I think now it's a good time to actually start heading back and actually processing some of the things I've got. Also, clear my inventory a little bit. Then I'll come straight back to this and hopefully I can get some more material. Okay, so I feel like the food situation is now sorted. We just have to continue on and find out a little bit more on what we can do around here. I don't think we can do much while we still need materials. So I think it might be best just to go back into the mines and actually gain some more material. Oh, would you look at that, it's raining again. I really should have made some armor while I was up there, but hey, uh, I think we'll just take that risk. You wanna know what's down here? Oh, quite a big cave. Oh, that's bad. They just dropped in right there. Hmm, probably best I don't go that way. Yeah, I definitely need to have armor on if I want to go that way. I'll try and work my way around it though. Yeah, it just looks like more and more mobs are just going to keep spawning while I'm away. Okay, so now that I'm fully kitted out, there is actually another thing I noticed while I was waiting for this. So hopefully, if I look just over here... Hmm, you can't see it anymore. Let's see if I can get a better angle. Right there. So just where that cursor is, that looks like cobblestone. And right off to the right, just above the cursor there, that looks like a light source. So I think there might be a village over there. It might be worth checking that out at some point. Also, there's a massive cave just in the side there. That might be interesting to look at too. But now I think we're going to go this way. Great, so I'm out of food, so it looks like I'm heading back. Okay, we are back and the daylight's going to be changing soon, so I think it might be worth actually just staying up here for a little while, sort out the food problem, and then, yeah, I think building a house might be also interesting, so let's see how that goes.
So at this point, I actually went looking for cows. Now the reason I went looking for cows is because I actually need the lever for one of the bookcases that I need. Now, I went to go find these as well as a food source, other than using just the sheep as well. Now while I was going through here, I actually visited a couple villages as well as picked up a few items along the way, such as the berry bushes, and also picked up some of the items from villages such as the blast furnace and the loom. Now the reason I did this sped up is because it actually took ages to actually find these cows and then actually bring them back to where we were holding base. Now later on in the video I'll explain that a little bit more in detail but for now this is just good enough and hopefully you'll enjoy this little sped up bit for it. So after some time we've actually been working on a lot of the materials for the house as well as growing up these sheep as well as finding some cows which was quite good it was a little bit annoying getting them over from a village from that direction but now the only material that i need left is bookcases now these cows are going to take forever so i'm going to see if i can go over to the village over there which is just loading in after i just reloaded the world and hopefully i can actually uh, get some bookcases from there so Let's head over there and see what we can find. Also, I can't forget the bed. Oh, some of the things that we found actually before we do disappear. Uh, we got some potatoes from one of the villages. We also got that stone cutter there. I made the composter, but we also got a few extra pieces. So we got nine pumpkins, a loom, a smithing table, as well as some other items along the way. I can't remember what, but I remember some wheat, but there was a few materials but nothing of any extravagance but it does go to show just how much time we actually spent collecting these materials because we're now on day 30 hopefully we should have the house done pretty soon though well it does depend on whether this village actually has anything of interest well, that was a long way around so that was pretty much pointless we got a blast furnace and some hay which is uh, definitely not worth the trip never mind we got two blast furnaces can we see any other villages maybe we can go visit them i can't see a village over there but that looks like a great place to actually build on hmm maybe one day and we just about see where we're actually building building over there as well. Now I know there's some villages that way, but I cannot remember where they were. But that looks like it could be something. There's smoke coming from over there. Let's head that direction. Uh, looks like it's going to be difficult to get down from here. Oh, never mind. Now the smoke was coming from up over that way, I believe. Oh no, that's not the way. That's back to my own house. Um, Which way was the smoke? Ah, that's the smoke. At some point I should really jump up in the trees just to see if I can see that smoke again. Never mind, it seems that we found the second village. Oh, it's a nice little tiger village as well. Oh, there's the campfire. Wait, is this where I stole the cows from? No, I don't think so, given there's a horse in a tree. Oh, did not mean to do that. Oh, it's so slow. Ah, okay. Well, like, like anything happened. Oh, this is a nice little house. That's a pretty cool design as well. Oh, may as well take these pumpkins with us. May as well take this with us as well. Oh, nice compass. Hey, an iron sword. I'll take that. What is this? Oh, is this like the church? Oh, this is pretty cool. Oh, wow. I think it's quite common to know that I do not travel around Minecraft a lot. I just build in it. But yeah, that's actually pretty cool. Oh, there's a cow there. Mm, I'll take the smoker. If anything, it saves me giving them myself. And that was a dud. There was no bookcases again. Right. I should uh, get to higher ground, see if I can find any more smoke. So my base is that direction. Well, looks like we're just going to have to walk around, see if we can find another place. It doesn't look like I can see any smoke coming up through the trees anywhere. Uh, I could head back to base and see whether I can go to that other village. There might be bookcases there. I hope I find some bookcases because it would make this whole thing a lot easier. 
Oh, there's a villager there. Must be at another village. Oh, just if. How did I miss that and saw him? Hopefully, village three will actually have something of interest. Oh, baby villager. Oh, I've definitely been there before. I've put that in there. Would I remember to check for bookcases though? Well, given that there's only three houses, I doubt I missed anything. Well, there's nothing here. Where next? So I'm pretty much just walking aimlessly around here, but I think it might be best if I just get to higher ground and see if I can see anything from a distance. Okay, so we're kind of up here now. Let's see if we can spot anything. So we came from that direction over there. Let's see if I can... I don't even think I can see the village from here. Nope, I don't think I can. Uh, home is that way. There is a tower over there, which is interesting because... Oh no, wait, they don't have bookcases and never mind. But they do have alleles. Hmm, might be worth going over there. Okay, so I'm not seeing any villages, but there is a weird shaped tree just right there. Looks like we're just gonna have to run around, see what we can find. It is getting dark now, so it might be best to find a place to sleep. Oh, never mind. I guess I found a village. I think this is the fourth one now, so let's see how this goes. Wait, is this like the world's smallest village? Oh, no, never mind. The houses are over here. I was gonna say, there was only the spawn house over here. So I'm honestly starting to think that they don't actually spawn in tiger villages. Might be worth checking. Okay, I think I'm gonna check that dead quick. But at this point, I'm pretty much just walking from high point to high point and then taking a look around the area, see if I can find a village. But yeah, I'm not having any luck and I'm starting to think maybe I should have just waited for the cows to grow up and actually just get the lever that way. At least I've got plenty of food from each village. I also got some emeralds, so I could potentially just use them to actually trade as well. Ah, there you go. There's a village on the other side of this hill. Perfect. Okay, on to village six. Is it six or is it five? Well, it's one of the two. Well, this is an interesting shape house. What is this? Is this like part of the house or? Oh, hey. Oh, there's a downstairs. That's weird. Oh, okay. What a weird design. Ah, uh, good. We got a lectern. Oh, we get a bookcase, which is annoying. Hey, so we didn't get many books, but hey, we got at least a couple. Oh, we got one more house over here to check. And nothing. Okay, off to the next one. I'm going to climb up back at the top of this hill, see if I can spot anything this direction. Hopefully, uh, yeah, it might mean we can go this way a little bit more. But yeah, as you probably saw at the beginning, this world is actually made of large biomes. So these biomes are actually huge. It's funny to think, I've been working for ages now, and all I've ever seen is actually the tiger biome, as well as a forest biome. I've not seen very much else. Well, technically where I would building is a plains biome, so... Or a meadows biome, one of the two. Oh, found a cow. At least that's one piece of leather for, towards what we need. So if my math's right, we only need about 90 books. So we are currently on 18. Oh, this is going to be a while. I keep hearing a lot of mobs, but I don't see any. So I don't know if there's like caves just underneath the surface or not. Okay, so I think dude chunks are starting to come in because... As you can see, the game is actually really laggy. Oh, is it stopped? Nope, it's still lagging. Oh, there we go. Nope. Oh, there we are. But uh, I think at this point it might be worth just jumping up in a tree, seeing what we can see. Oh, there's a village right over there. We can head that way. Is there anyone within closer? Oh, there's one right there. Oh, would you look at that? There's a forest as well. So, are we surrounded by forests? Oh, we must be. Hmm, how strange. Okay, so let's take on village six. Oh, we've got another lectern. That should mean more bookcases. Yes, here we are, some more. 36, wonderful. Technically that means we're halfway. Uh, we'll take the cauldrons, might become useful. Well, at least I don't have to worry about potatoes and food anymore. Oh, this is like a nice little area. And I'll leave the sugar cane. So to be honest, we're looking for houses like that, because they seem to be the ones that actually have stuff that we need in them. Okay, I'm gonna leave the bread now. I think that's getting ridiculous and I'm out. Oh my God, there's so much bread. Okay, well, that seems to be everything in this village. On to the next one. If I remember correctly, it was this direction. On to village seven, let's see how this goes. Oh, well, that looks like a mess down there. Okay, bread's getting ridiculous. So I think it's safe to say that the food's gonna be pretty much sorted from now on. It's not looking good in regards to books, but this is, wow, everything's just on fire. Great. Okay, that's just taking the mic now. Oh, there's a chest on this. Uh, nothing of real interest. Okay, so we didn't find any books, but we did get some more leather, which is good, which means we're on 36 books, 13 leather. That means we're on additional 49 books. So that's pretty good. And we need like 90. It's pretty much halfway there. So I think we go to the top of this hill, see if we can find another village. So I've just came to rest over here and I've just realized there was a massive fireball over there. It seems to have died down now. Um, I don't even know what that is. Could be lava. Could be anything, really. It looks like more to do with lava. It doesn't look like anything else is on fire. Oh, but there's that tower we were looking at before. Doesn't seem like I can see anything more, though. It might be worth going up that hill, though. Oh, there's a beehive over there. That's not going to be any use. Yeah, I think we go that way. 
So that way we're still a little bit closer to the house. Well, home. I haven't even built the house yet. So yeah, if we start heading that way a little bit more, we might be able to get some cows easier since that one is a plains or a meadows compared to the tiger. So it's open. I do really love how the large biomes turn out. There is quite a variety in terrain and it just looks so nice. Oh great, rain. And the annoying thing about the rain is I'm not going to be able to see far with it. Uh, can we sleep? So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to wet out the rain. I think I'm just going to, uh, yeah, let's find a cave. We'll just go in a cave for a bit and then uh, wet out the rain. I think it would be good. Great, I can't sleep because there's monsters nearby. Ah, oh, ah, oh, there we go. Better. That should also get rid of the rain. So if I'm doing this, I feel like uh, cows just don't exist. How did I miss that massive plains biome there? Oh, huh, looks like it did. So let's uh, see what village eight has to offer. Now I have noticed that this is the first plains biome, so this might be good. If I remember correctly, the donkeys and horses also give leather. I don't think that will be accepted to take them. Oh, not you. Just want to go inside. God damn, more bread. Definitely weird. There's three different churches here. Not a single bookcase. And just to show you guys, I did leave the horses alone. See? Right there. To be honest, I think it's quite nice to see a different biome. Yeah, I'm not proud to admit, but we did just take those donkeys. So, uh, yeah, we got a little bit more leather there. Not much, but a little bit. Oh, that looks like a village. Let's head over that way. So let's see if village nine has anything to offer. Oh, we've got a blacksmith and nothing of interest. Why don't we swap out this stone sword for that iron sword? And then we'll take these apples as well. Ooh, some obsidian. That might come in handy in the future. Uh, what can we get rid of in its place? Let's get rid of five torches. Oh, iceberg look challenge. Great. How am I this unlucky in regards to books? It's only one block. I uh, would we'll take these cauldrons. More bread, great. Oh, you're just kidding me now. And let me guess. Not a single one in here either. Oh, great. That wasn't, uh, wasn't as prosperous as I thought it would be. And it's now becoming night. So uh, let's see if we have better luck with the next one. Uh, I've been walking around for so long now. Oh, donkey. Yeah, you didn't drop anything. Okay, looks like things are starting to load in. Well, that was a massive graphical glitch. Don't know what's going on there. Uh, doesn't look like there's anything in that way. Don't know what that giant box is. It must be like Madoka. It must be that that's the coordinates of a giant box that I've left in a different world. Sometimes it can do that. Yeah, it's a weird little glitch. For some reason, shaders do that. I'm not too sure why. I've been looking for ages to try and figure out how to remove it from doing that, but doesn't seem like I need to look with that. Oh, wow. That's massive. Looks like we do have a village over there, though. Got some distance to go, though. Hey, here we go. Oh, it has got to be an easier way of getting down here. Oh, we've got some cows. Wow, the lag is something incredible. I think it might be when I go to areas that have a lot of leaves. So now we're at the 10th village, so uh, let's see how things go. I'm not even sure how I'm going to get up here. Oh, there's pumpkins down here at least. Okay, here's the first house, and nothing. Oh, finally we're at the top. Oh, at least we got a blacksmith. Wait, we got our first diamonds. Uh, what am I going to get rid of for the diamonds? Bone meal. We can always get that another time. And there we go, diamonds. Not a single bookcase. Great. That's just... Perfect. Looks like we're gonna have to keep looking. Well, that's annoying. Let's go looking around. Yeah, that donkey's not worth it. Yeah, that's a light micro glitch. But it's actually trying to show where the last highlight blocks were. So I'm guessing that was for something I was doing in my test world. How weird. Let's see if I can get rid of that. So yeah, I'm actually gonna leave it showing it like this. And this was actually the house I've designed for the survival world. So that's probably why it's showing up like this. So let's just get rid of that dead quick by doing this. And that should fix it. And it doesn't look like it got rid of it. I'm not too sure what that is then. Hmm, maybe if I turn the shaders on and off, maybe that might work. Nope, I have no idea what that's highlighting. So just in perspective, let's just take a look at the statistics. Uh, let's have a look. Mobs. 13 cows killed. So I've seen at least 18 cows in this world, and I have still yet to gain enough leather to build a single house. I really don't have any luck, do I? It looks like we found our next village. Some distance away though. Okay, this looks like it's gonna be fun. Oh, hey, look at that, more cows. Okay, so we have 36 books and 28 levers, so that means in total we have 64 books, and I need at least 90. So I need another 20 odd. That's gonna be good. Well, let's just hope this village actually gives us more either cows or books. But I am really starting to think that at this point it probably was been easier just to simply grow the cows. Grow the cows, I mean breed the cows. It'd be weird if they grew, kind of like if you planted them in like wheat. Bet there's a mod for that. Hmm, some donkeys here. So yeah, I did go after those and I have uh, gained a few bit more leather, so that's good. So now we're on village 11, so let's see uh, how far we get with this one. And with village 11 we gained nothing, so uh, yeah, that's great. <sighs> looks like we keep walking and seeing what we can find. Oh, that looks like another village right away. Oh, that's good, we're literally just over that one there. Uh, let's consider this part of the same village. 
Actually, no, it's two separate villages. So that's 12 villages now. So let's see how this goes. So this one seems a little bit bigger, so this might actually be beneficial. Oh, and it's got a little hut. Normally these have... Yes, they have cows in. Oh, there's little rabbits. Oh, and this is probably one of the most pointless houses. I'm probably just saying that because I've not gained much lever from this place. I think I gained like three pieces. And yeah, not much. Still gotta keep going. We've got 34 and 36. That's 60 plus 6. That's 66 plus 4. That's and 70. Great. I need 90. I need 20 more pieces. Of either books or leather. So we got some cows in the distance. Let's go get them. Oh, okay. That was a little taller than I thought it was gonna be. Oh, this one's trying to hide. Okay. So that's a good amount. But I, uh,. I'm gonna need some more. Wow, this terrain looks pretty cool. Is that snow? There is snow. Hmm. Well, there's more that direction as well. Wow. Oh, we've got some more cows over that direction. Let's head that way. Oh, we've got some more cows. Oh, oh, that's bad. Oh, wow. What is this? That's insane. We'll leave that alone. So now we've got 45 leather and 36 books. So that's a total of 81. So we just need another nine pieces. Oh, that lag nearly killed me then. That was, uh, okay. Ooh. I didn't go as planned. I do think at some point I should start working towards actually heading back, but uh, I think for now I need to sleep, double check to see what's, if anything's on that hill, and then uh, continue on I think. Oh actually, I think I think that was a village there. Oh, there's a lot of fire here. Ah, it's just lava. Oh, on our next village. So that makes village 13 or 12. So uh, either one, let's uh, take a look, see what we can find. Wait, hang on, this isn't another village. This is one I've already been to, I've already taken the blast furnace out of here. Have I gone in a circle? Yeah, I've definitely been here. Oh, I've gone in a circle. Where's this? Oh, is this the... Yeah, this is the village on the hill. Right, okay. Yeah, we've been here. Ah, great. Let's uh, let's keep going. At this point, I'm thinking it might be best just to head back and uh, yeah, use the rest of the lever with the cows I have there, as well as make up the paper that's going to be needed for the books. But it has been fun. That's 12 or 11 or 12 villages there that we've visited. We've got a good few blocks there, as well as three diamonds, which is quite good. A shame we didn't get four. That way we could make an enchantment table. But then again, we still wouldn't have the books. So I've made a grave mistake. So this compass is now pointing directly at this tree. As you can see, it's still got the needle going towards it. So I don't think this is my spawn spot. So I think I'm lost. Oh great, and it's going nighttime as well. So this is gonna be great. Nope, I'm just an idiot. I just need to look around a bit better. But yeah, now that we're back here, let's get the remaining material and uh, yeah, I'll be right back with you. Oh, and just to show you the spoils of what we got from going around the place, these are everything that we got, so not too good on the materials, but hey, we got a good few pieces there. And just like that, we have actually finished the house. And I've actually got a spare piece of spruce wood. I'm not too sure if it's missing out of the build, but hey, I'd still got a spare piece. So this house has plenty of storage, as well as little side pieces here. And it's got plenty of furnaces as well. I'm not too sure why it's so dark here, but I might throw a couple more lanterns around just to see if that brightens up a bit. Then up here, you've got plenty of books, which I should have used for an enchantment table instead of doing this, but hey, this looks better. And two massive windows facing both ways. Now the reason for the windows is so that you can see right out for the sunset and the sunrise. But with that being said, on day 51, we're actually going to end the episode here. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, like, comment and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.